In the last part, we have added Cucumber feature file to log in and verify a dashboard message. Now the other parts are adding the runner class and the step definitions for these steps. So I go to the SRC step, uh, test Java. I create a package and class. The package will be, let's say, runners. Okay, scom.slocum.open.runners. And the name will be dashboard runner. Okay, so I've saved it. This is the class we have, we have to provide the configuration. So these configurations will be given in terms of annotations. Okay, so the first one is cucumber options. Okay, so when whatever the test cases that you write, you have to use cucumber options. Okay, so whether it, whether it is with serenity or without serenity, cucumber options. Cucumber options contains uh, majorly two things. One is which features that you are executing. Okay, the feature file path we have to give. So where is this feature file? Dashboard dot feature, right? So I can copy from SRC to that end of the file. So this is the feature file. It is going to trigger when I run this dashboard runner. And the second one is the step definitions. So the step definitions path you have to give because like it has to search, Cucumber has to search for step definitions in your project. So you can filter that by using glue. Okay, so this glue is like package you have to give. If I provide com dot slocum dot open card dot and then it will search all in this child packages so i am going to create my step definitions inside the com dot circum dot open cards child packages or child folders now so this is cucumber options here we have and the uh, one more thing you have to do here is like adding the runner okay so actually we are using JUnit, right? When we use JUnit, we should be using run with option. Okay, at the rate run with. So this is an annotation, and this annotation will take cucumber with serenity dot class. Okay, so this is the class that we have available in not net dot serenity bbd dot cucumber cucumber with serenity so these are the two things you have to do what are they add cucumber options and then add run with now when i run this uh, cucumber runner run as j unit test what it is going to do is it's going to trigger this uh, dashboard dot feature and then uh, this feature file contains these step definitions these step definitions will be search and if they are there then that will be executed if it is not there it will help us to uh, provide what are all missing okay that can be seen in your console so whatever the steps that they have there is provided here so these are code snippets we can take these code snippets and then we can implement for our own purposes so we have to create a new class. This class, I'll put it inside the step depths. Okay. So definitions you can write, or then you can write this one. Okay. So dashboard steps. So this is the class that I am going to write. In this class, these are the uh, annotations we have or step definitions we have control shift o will import these annotations and now everyone is throwing pending exceptions right i should remove okay and so now i use cucumber 5 right so that's why we have cucumber extract expressions 
So you don't need to use that kind of regular expressions that we used previously. So all the variables, CPF, you can change it as username and password. So they simply send it to the string and string. Okay. Now launch the application. So this is where you have to use, you have to initialize your driver object and then launch the browser. Okay. So how do you do that? Uh, you have learned web driver driver okay so this one is having a thread managed control shift o will give you the driver initialization and obviously you should be using that serenity dot properties so you will have this and then the driver dot get okay this is the url that you are going to launch okay so url will be uh, I told you demo dot uh, open dot com right so demo dot open dot com slash admin so this is what I'm going to copy so this is the first step and similarly you have to implement this uh, username type and then password user click on submit and then you should be able to log in and see the messages so what I do is I'll just fill it up with my existing code so that uh, you can run this program okay so i have filled with driver.find element by dot id it types username type password and then it uh, clicks on the uh, button login button and then it checks the it gets the uh, message from text from the page dashboard page and whatever the message that you send, it will be validated with, with that. So this is expected message and this is whatever you got is actual message and then it will be compared. So this is my step definitions. Now I'm good with three things. One is feature file, second one runner class and the third one is step definitions. So how do I run it? Go to the dashboard runner and then right click run as JUnit test. So it's going to run your uh, program, whatever the things we have in there. So in this program or in this session, we did not see the actual uh, features of uh, Serenity. Still, these are the features of Cucumber only mostly. Okay. Now in the next video, we will see what exactly Serenity offers for us in Cucumber style.